Washington State Department of Health, there were over 22,000 divorces in 2022. That's about 49% of marriages. In 2023, my parents got divorced. Divorce is so common nowadays, but still so new to those who experience it. While eventually, hopefully, everyone gets to a better place, there's not a lot to look forward to in the short term of divorce. My divorce bucket list was one, new room. <laughs> Two, double Christmas. <laughs> And three, parents who can cohabitate. In the past eight months, two of those things have been checked off the list. Christmas was awesome. <laughs> I got stuff for my new room. <laughs> In all honesty though, divorce is hard, sometimes unexpectedly. Take for example, my dad moving out of my childhood home. I knew he was going to. I had been told weeks in advance, and I knew that it was the next logical step in their divorce. But knowing those facts and being okay with those facts didn't change the weight that I felt seeing his side of the bed empty. Moral of the story, divorce will be difficult, but it doesn't have to be as difficult. One thing that is key is communication. In divorce, most of the time the focus is on the parents but it is important to remember that the kids are going through a divorce too. Communication is key. We've all heard the phrase to the point where it's cliche, but it really is key when supporting your kids in divorce. This starts with talking to your kids, asking them questions. How do you feel about this? Are you okay with this? One of the reasons that divorce is so hard is because you have this view of how your life looks. Your parents together, one house, even if your parents fight all the time. Suddenly, that all changes. Now it's two houses, two families, two different dynamics, almost two different versions of yourself. Kids going through divorce go through all of that without having control over anything. That's why talking to them is such an important part of supporting them because it gives them back control over their life. Also remember that communication is a two-way street. You have to talk to your kids. Tell them how you feel. If what they say is hard for you to hear, tell them and make a compromise rather than shutting them down or going behind their back. This communication especially applies when talking about dating. No one really knows how to date after a divorce. Some parents are ready right away. Some need to take time. But whatever's best for you might not be best for your kid. That's why it's important to have a conversation about dating with your kids before there's a new partner to introduce. And when the time comes to introduce a new partner, remember that you chose them, not your kids. You're asking your children to accept and spend time with a new person that they may not resonate with. That's not something you can force. Divorce is not a two-sided process. Everyone going through it is on their own side, facing their own problems, and that can feel really lonely. If everyone is trying to keep themselves up, everyone will slowly come falling down. That's why you need to be a teepee, and communication helps you do that. Talking through your problems helps your family keep everyone up, including themselves. Um, oh yeah. <laughs> this process has taught me a lot about the value of communication and how much we need to use it in our daily lives. Often when I'm articulate or thoughtful, I'm told that I'm mature for my age. But why is that? Kids are told to listen to adults. Shut down when they ask questions because adults don't need reasons. But asking questions because something doesn't make sense to you is okay. Standing up for yourself in a constructive way is okay. Setting boundaries is okay. In our society, the feelings of others are sometimes valued even more than our own. And in that, directness gets lost in the fray. But our society cannot be afraid of constructive assertiveness. I remember when I was younger, my dad was struggling because he had to have a hard conversation with someone at work. I made him a card that read, you can be respectful and assertive at the same time. Those words are very true. 
Our society needs to learn how to communicate better, and that starts with teaching our kids. Kids are the future, and the future needs to start now. Thank you.